Feel better. It's better. Mm-hmm. Feel great. Feel better. Still working through it and stuff. Just, you know, get back in the rhythm and stuff. And, you know, just being out there with the team again really felt great. Uh, just taking it day by day. You were having this uh, impressive off-season program, and then you get injured at the start of camp. How frustrating was it to kind of have to take just mental reps throughout the summer? Uh, it's very frustrating, especially like a uh, time like this. You know, we got brand new coaches and stuff, and you're trying to show everything that you can do. And then, look, like, unlucky for me, like I just get injured before like we start really kicking things off and stuff. So, but on the good side though, it's good to take mental reps and actually learn from like different people, play styles and stuff within this defense. So that's. That's a lot of reps and taking in mentally and stuff, so that's pretty good for me. You say you're kind of still working through it. What's your confidence level for being ready for week one? Oh, it's very high. Like, I'm 1,000% confident I'm going to be ready. That was pretty high, yeah. Backs are something that, you know, you kind of have to manage, like hamstrings. Like, they, it can take a certain amount of time. Um, what was the communication like with the training staff throughout this process? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, once uh, the injury happened, we quickly got to like the main source of what was causing it, uh, took the procedures that we needed, and started working day by day process to see what I can do that won't like you know for long jeopardy, you know, like keep me on the field instead of a short period of time. So working with the training staff has been really, really amazing. What were some of the things that you guys incorporated that you hadn't had to do in previous seasons that makes you feel like you'll be more sustainable? Uh, basically, just keeping the load off my back and stuff, like doing like squats and stuff, just making sure like we don't take two steps back, keep everything moving step forward. So anything that's going to jeopardize me not being able to play for a long time, uh, we, we're not going to do that. But moving forward and stuff, you know, we just take it a day by day. You feel good enough to get a few reps in on Friday? Uh, it's up to the coaches. I'm just here just to, you know, work my work my butt off, you know, just do the best I can to show like I'm I can learn this defense and stuff and, you know, put let them trust be be able to put me out there and be able to have trust in me that I can get the job done and stuff. So uh as it comes to Friday, uh just to let the I let the coaches decide that. Marquise, how would you describe this group of pass rushers? Because through the off season and two and tour and then all of a sudden you know, Burns is back on the field. Justin Houston walks in the door. What What is this group capable of? Uh, room's capable of a lot of things, you know. We got Justin Houston, who's been, like, playing the league, like, before us and stuff, and he has, like, a lot of a lot of knowledge. So we really try to, like, learn from him when we meet and stuff to see, like, you know, what moves and, st and how he sees tackles and stuff, how they sets, and, you know, take, take off what he knows. How does this game fit your – personal skill set? Speed. Speed kills. Speed just destroys a lot of things, especially offense, and they hate that. And the best way teams want to just learn how to stop that, they're going to have to do screens and stuff. But, you know, on the back end, we got great corners and stuff that can cover. So, I mean, go hand in hand. How do you see yourself fitting in, like, when Justin plays versus when you would be in there, that whole rotation? Is there, is there a specific role you feel like you're better at that you feel like They'll use you for it. Uh, as it comes to stuff like that, I'm just, you know, I'm just taking it day by day. I mean, I mean, I let the coaches decide, like, what role they see us and stuff like that. So I'm letting them dictate that. You're used to attacking as an edge rusher. From a mental rep standpoint, how is having the mental reps help with the run game and coverage responsibilities? Oh, learning when to uh, strike, learn when I got to spill players and stuff, and especially in drop coverage, listening to the communications on the back end. Uh, if they got, we're doing trap, uh, trap coverage and stuff like that, just, just learning. You like this defense better than what you were in? Or is it, is it, is it, is it how much difference is it, first of all? Uh, it's, for me, in college, this kind of defense we ran in college. So at Ole Miss, this is kind of the other outside linebacker just line me up everywhere, just let me go or drop in coverage and stuff. So it's pretty similar to what I did in college. So you like this a little better? Mm -hmm. We all good? You were um, with some pretty good receivers at Ole Miss during your time. I think it jived up. How does Mingo compare to those guys, kind of another second-round guy like, like some of the guys you, you played with? Oh, when it comes to that conversation, it's just like, well, you, you know, you got AJ, you got DK, then you add Ming in there. So then you're like, you got them three, they all just in the second round. But it's like, they all got their own different skill set. You know, DK got the size, 
AJ got speed. Mean brings a little bit of both. So, as you can see, when he played against New York, the corner that tried to hit him bounced off kind of like with DT, like him trying to hit DK. So, they bring a little, little, little similar. So. Yeah, on the other side of the ball, Miles Sanders you know, taking over a running back. I mean, what, do you, what have you seen out of him and what type of player is he? He's a straightforward guy. You know, he's – Miles is a, a humble dude and stuff in the locker room and stuff. You know, he didn't come in the locker room demanding and being like, yeah, I'm the – you know, he came in like wanting to know, wanting to know who we are, wanting to learn like everybody in the locker room and stuff, and he just like getting where he fit in at. So I got a hundred percent confidence in Miles being a starting running back and stuff. So he's taking like the stride and he's teaching Chuba and Raheem Blackshear and he's teaching them like what he see out there too. Like you know he came from the Eagles, you know they went far, so he's teaching them like how to do recovery and stuff. So he's being a good vet to them.